So in the last video, we added this section 10 right here. In this video, we're going to learn how to automatically add rows. And to do that, we're actually going to create a section 11 to test everything out. So let's go ahead and add our section. And first, as you know, we start out in our HTML. And again, we're going to call this section 11. Now let's flip over to our CSS. Now in our container is where we have been adding our rows. And you will remember in the last lecture, when we wanted to create that last section, we had to come up here and create two new rows right here. But what if you have a very dynamic site and you're adding content every day? Do you really want to come here and keep adding rows? What if you had 60 rows? Do you really want to put 60 entries in here? I don't think so. So there's a way to go ahead and automatically do that. So again, that's what we're going to do in this lecture. So first, let's go ahead and keep this line. We'll comment it out, but we'll keep it so you have it as an example. So we'll put a comment in here, and there we go. So now what we're going to do is actually add a new property, and that is grid auto rows. That is the property that we're going to use. And we'll go ahead and keep the height at 100 pixels so that everything looks the same. So now, every time we create a new row, it will automatically be done for us. We don't even have to come back to this container anymore to update it. We can simply just add it down here rather than having to come up here every time and add a new entry. Okay, so now let's go down here and add our section 12, or 11, sorry. And we'll just copy and paste this right here. And we're gonna call this section 11. And let's keep the grid column the same. So we'll span all three columns. And to do that again, we start from one and end at grid line four. But here is where we're going to create some new rows. And we can see we left off at six. So let's make our starting point six this time. And then let's end it at row line eight. And that will add our two new rows. And you will notice once again, we didn't have to come up here and add them in this property. We are now going to automatically add these rows. So let's save everything up. And then we just need to save our HTML document. And let's go ahead and load this up and see what we get. And take a look at that. It worked just fine. It added these extra rows. So that is how you automatically add rows. Okay, I will see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.